Hi again, it's Michael here from Hotel Strategy Co. Today I've got five pills your hotel can take today to avoid the flu. A little bit tongue in cheek, but I do have some medicine for your hotel headaches. And the aim is to give you some actions that can help you ease the pain that you're potentially currently feeling. Well, first of all, we've renamed it. We're no longer calling it COVID-19. We're calling it COVID-19, meaning we have the situation covered. We're trying to be more positive about the whole thing. And the fact that we put a 20 after it means we're at least thinking about the current year that we're in, not 2019, which is longer one. So we're looking to the future, we're looking to take action, and we're looking to be positive. And that's what these posts are all about, trying to keep you moving forward because the, that's the best thing that you can do right now. And we covered that in the last post. Um, hopefully that got you thinking in the right mindset. Now I want to give you some tangible things that you can do to actually make use of this period of time where everyone else is either in that panic, pause, or pivot environment. The first one is make use of downtime. And I know I, I hinted at that at the last post, but at the end of the day, in the hospitality industry, we don't very often get this chance to have this much time in our hands. So I would suggest to make use of the downtime and get some action plans in place. All those little things that you've thought about, little projects that you've had in mind, things that just always get pushed to the back, bring that list forward now and start to identify which of those things you'd like to work on first. Um, because you've got this time now, let's make use of it. The second thing I want to suggest to you is to look for and develop new partnerships. Again, you've got the time, so it's a great opportunity to start to develop new partnerships with suppliers you haven't really thought of before. And just start to extend things out. So it could be as simple as new distribution partners that you've never really had time to, to partner with. Or it could be something maybe a little bit more left field where there's maybe there's a local supplier or a local service or product supplier that's actually got a really good marrying with your the demographic of your typical guests. And maybe there's some work you can do together. It'd be a great time to you know, set up a conference call with those guys and just start to explore the opportunities or things that could be could be happening there. Uh, one example of, of a hotel that we're working with, we're, we're exploring the whole uh, wellness and fitness aspect of our guests. And we're working with a, a provider, a, a, a gym and wellness provider in the local area that actually provides those services. So rather than us trying to become the expert in that area, we're actually bringing them in and trying to get a win-win situation for both air, both um, both ourselves and and the other provider to actually be in front of more people and provide a better level of service. So that's just one idea there. You know, working, you know, finding some new partners to work with and exploring those opportunities. Second one would be um, just going deeper with existing partners. So of all, and it's a complex web that we deal with. There's, there's lots of partners along the way between agents and you know, all these online travel agents and the likes. But is there partners that we can actually go deeper on? Because using Pareto's rule, you know, the whole 80-20, it's, it's often easier to just to go deeper with an existing client than setting up a new one. So you've got a couple of options there. You can be setting up new partnerships or perhaps it's just about going deeper with existing. The last two things which I think are, are really worthwhile exercises to do is to conduct a hotel health check on your property. Now, I'm sure some of this work's already been done where you're probably looking at your bottom line, your cutting costs and that sort of stuff, but I don't mean about it from a, from a fiscal perspective and I don't really mean about it from a, a, an operational perspective. Um, I guess what we get focused on here at Hotel Strategy Co is, is all about how you present yourself to the marketplace and what the guest sees and what the guest's or the booker's experience is, and are you being presented in the right light? Um, pretty much, you know, 99 times out of 100, all our clients start with some form of health check or perhaps a more detailed gap analysis. Um, I guess what I'm suggesting here is try and conduct one on, your, on yourself. We're, we're happy to help if you need help. That's fine. We can point you in the right direction. But basically, what I would suggest you do is you put yourself in the seat of um, the guest or the booker. And you start to look at all the different ways that a guest can find you and you analyze that. So you might analyze it from a, an online visibility, online search point of view, paid search point of view. You might look at it um, also from a TripAdvisor point of view. And I would suggest you go through and make comment 
and potentially even give yourself a score on all, on all these things. And obviously, the areas that score the least, they're the areas that you want to come back and build yourself a little bit of an action plan of, so well, what can I do to in, improve that? But you know, everything from online visibility uh, onto the, on, on the, the OTAs, how many channels you're using, what's your pricing like, uh, what's your what's the, the messaging and the imagery that you've got out there on all the platforms. Go and review all that and see if there's opportunities where you can be putting putting yourself better um, forward in a much better way. Go deep. Look at some of the random channels that um, people will stumble across. Just get, get lost in a web search and see where you end up and see how hard it is to find yourself. And when people do find you, are you well presented? That's the whole idea of the, the hotel health check. So I really implore you to, to conduct that on yourself. Now's a fantastic time to be doing that. And the final thing I want to just introduce you to today is uh, I guess something we first put forward about four years ago. We cut a video similar to this where I talked about future proofing your business. The whole concept of that was basically to fast forward your business five or seven years' time and see. <sighs> What does the environment look like at that time? On that particular video, I talked about the topic of technology and how the, the, the technology adoption curve was going to flatten out. And then that would be a bit of a leveling of the playing field that some did have adoption, some didn't, but now it's leveling out. So what does that look like and what are the advantages that you can find in the marketplace if that was to occur? That was the example I gave then. So that, that's a, a future proof your business five or seven years down the track using a particular topic. What I'm, I'm suggesting here is that you do that same approach, but you do it for a post-COVID-19. Now, we all know that post-COVID-19, the environment is going to, to bounce back hard. Everything tells us that it will come back and it will come back fast. But to get quite specific and, and actually detail what that environment looks like from a competitor's point of view, from a demand point of view, you know, who's gone broke in the meantime, trying to sort of ascertain some of that, and paint that picture, and along the way you find opportunities. And the key part is to not find the opportunity, but start thinking about, well, what should I be doing right now if that's the future environment? So I can be you know, on the front foot when that comes. So that's the whole, I guess, future proof for your, your business and fast forwarding past COVID-19 to being, make sure you're ready for that environment. Keep an eye out for um, some more content. I'll, I will break down an exercise where you can actually facilitate that with your team, you know, be it a small group of three or four or five, um, get together, you know, brainstorm and, and map out that future world, and then go through a, a specific process. Um, so keep an eye out for that that content there. That will certainly be coming. Uh, look, at the end of the day, really, we just want to give you a nudge of encouragement and say, keep going, keep moving forward, because if you keep moving forward, you will come out the other side. And we wish you all the best. Keep well. Keep a safe distance and we'll talk again soon.